Hey everyone, I thought I'd do another bonus video this time around and show you my earrings to go with the bracelet. So this was the uh, the doomed, doomed, <laughs> domed hexagon bracelet. And so I decided to make earrings to go with it. So here's the earring. Let me give you a little bit more of a close up to it. I did a slightly different design. I did a double diamond pattern. Uh, just to give it something a little bit different and I'll show you how to make that. So what you're going to need are regular super duos, regular size, the two by five millimeter super duos, uh, rondelles. So these are uh, three by four rondelles and 11s. So the color of the super duo is, here we go, get it to, hmm. Trying to get that there, it's a little sharper. So it is super duo, as you can see, two by five. That's that's your regular size. So these are, and then there's the mini. So these are not minis. Uh, so you got opaque, light blue, capri gold. That is the color, and they were purchased from aurocrystals.com. And then the seed beads are, they are Mayuki. Duracoat Galvanized Champagne, and these are also purchased from Aura Crystals. The rondelles are like a opaque turquoise. Um, these were purchased from a local bead store, so this particular one, um, I don't know if you can find it somewhere else. The bead store went out of business, so anyway. So I've had those for a while. But you know, if you have a, another three millimeter bead, so if you find, you know, um, a fire polish or a bicone. You can always use those two or a red, or some type of round bead, but you definitely need it to be a three millimeter because otherwise it's hard to get that nice dome shape that you get with this. And um, you'll need some fire line. So I used about maybe a foot to make an earring. So 12 inches, one foot, what is that? I forget what that is in millimeters or centimeters. Anyway, I use the smoke fire line. Okay, let's get started. All right, so to get started, what you're gonna do is pick up three 11s, then a rondelle, three 11s, rondelle, and so forth until you have six rondelles and 18 of the 11s. <coughs> and you know, the 11s and six groupings of three. Okay, so I'm gonna tie a knot. I'm just gonna make a ring just like I did for the bracelet. And and this is the ring you should get, just like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just go through couple of these beads just to pull the knot into the rondelle there. And now we're going to reinforce but also add beads. So I'm going to pick up a super duo and go into the rondelle. You're going to skip all three of those 11s. And then you're just going to give it a tug. So what you're going to do is pull all those three beads to each other, so this kind of forms a point. And then you're gonna repeat that. So again, pick up another super duo. So we'll do this a total of six times. Pick up the super duo, and what you're going to do is just go into the rondelle. So I'm just going to pop it into place, just push it towards the center, and then just give this a tug so you get that point forming. And then continue. And again, you're just going to adjust the rondelle, just like so. giving it a tug to pull it and you can see how that starts to make the points. So let's see, we got to do this three more times and again into the rondelle. 
白枣。And there you go. And then do it again. We are going to go in to the rondelle. And then just push that into play. Or pull that, I guess, so you can get into place. And you can see it's starting to form our, the hexagon shape. And I gotta add my last super duo here. I'm just gonna go straight into the rondelle right there. And again, popping it into the center and then just tugging it in place. And so you give the whole thing a tug and you can see how it went from being a ring and now it's got six sides into a hexagon. Okay, so I am gonna continue and go into this super duo. This is the first super duo we added when we started the round. And then I'm gonna switch to the second hole of the super duo, just like that. And I grabbed the thread, of course, caught onto that. Disaster, okay. <laughs> oh, that drives me nuts. Okay, so now we're gonna add 11s between all the super duos. So all you gotta do is pick up an 11 and then just stick it between the super duos. That is it. And of course, you wanna keep your tension nice and tight. We wanna have a nice tight dome. So again, pick up the next 11 and go through the next super duo. And we're gonna repeat this six more times to go ahead and pick up an 11 and go in to the next super duo. Pick up an 11, go into the next super duo. One more time, pick up an 11, go into the next super duo and oh, last one. All right, so I'm back, so it's the last one, back where I started. So I am just gonna go through the super duel and then continue through to the 11. And you can see it's already starting to give a little bit of a dome shape as you tighten up. It's not completely flat and that's what you want. And now for the next part, you're gonna pick up three 11s. So here I am coming out of that 11. I'm going to skip over the super duel and then I am going into the 11, the super duel, and then the next 11. And again, giving it a good tug just because I want that tension to be tight. And again, three 11s. Okay, so here's where I'm coming out. I'm gonna skip this super duo and then go into the 11, the super duo and the 11. And one more time, we're gonna add another loop of three. So pick up three 11s. And again, there's the 11 that I'm exiting. So skip the super duel and then go into the 11, the super duo, and then you are actually gonna make your way up, but I'll just go ahead and do the super duo. For now, I'll come out of there. And again, giving everything a good, nice tug. So now I've got, if you can see from this direction, I'm coming out of this super duo, so I'm gonna go up one, two, and three. So go into that super duo, or go into the 11 rather, you're coming out of the super duo. And then, so and because we're at this strange angle, and of course the thread wrapped around my pinky. And oh, 
Okay, so I'm up, so I gotta go up two more of these 11s. And now I'm in, in position. So all I'm gonna do is connect the three 11s together, the ones that are just at the very tip, so to help create the dome. So I'm going through this 11, and you can push these together to help them come together. Here's the next 11, and then back to this first one. Just like that, and then just go through them one more time to give it a little reinforcement. Clumsy, there we go. Okay, and I'm gonna go through this one. Okay, so I've gone through it a couple of times, so I'm gonna just leave it there. So I'm coming out of that 11. I'm gonna go down the next two here. So there's one here, and then there's the one between the two super doughs. So let's go down the one, then the 11 that is here between the two super duos. So the 11, and then I'm gonna just go through that super duo. Now, there's a super duo, so we're gonna to switch to the second hole of the same super duo, and then go through the rondelle. If you can, otherwise just do it one beat at a time, doesn't matter. Okay, so here we are, and then I'm just gonna go through the first two 11s. So now we're gonna add, we're gonna make this other part of the earring here. So, what I'm going to do, let's see how I did this. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna be one, two 11s, then the rondelle, followed by seven of my 11 beads, so three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I'm gonna bring those down. So just note, and then go back through the rondelle. like that, pick up two of the 11s and go through that 11 where we kind of, st we started. So I'm just gonna make sure there's no slack there in the thread and try to get this nice and even. So here's what it should look like. Now what you're gonna do is just go into the next 11, then pick up an 11, and go into the next 11, and then through the rondelle. So that's what you get. You're gonna get this little point coming out, that's fine. And then on this side, what you're gonna do is go through the next 11. And then we're gonna skip the one after that and then go into this next one. And that two should help this one pop out. Then skip the next one and go into the next 11. And then one more time, skip this next 11 and go through the 11 and the rondelle. And there's our little diamond. Now we gotta finish making our second diamond here. So what I'm gonna do is go through this 11 here, which is on the other side from where we started. And then 
I'm going to pick up an 11 and I'm going to go into the next 11 and the one after that. All right, and there's the double diamond that I wanted to create. And so, and I'm gonna go ahead and just reinforce really quickly. So basically making a loop. So I went through those two 11s, then 11 and then up into the rondo. And through my beads here. So if this is nice and tight, you may have a little bit of difficulty getting into the 11, especially this first one here. Okay, got through it. And my next two. And again, this has to do with an angle. So there, getting that needle just in the right position so it goes through the be beads because these are beads are at slight angles to each other. Okay, so I'm going through the next two. We're just reinforcing. It's also a good way to weave the thread and you can make knots if you want to. Okay, now down this last 11 and then in back through the rondelle. And just make sure the thread doesn't get caught anywhere here. So I think we're good. And then through the beads here on the side, make sure you keep track of which side you came up on. Um, so I'm usually, you know, since I'm a lefty, I'm doing going up the left side and down the right. And back through these last two 11s. And one more. Actually, I'll just go through the next two 11s there. And into the rondelles here. Okay, and let's get this tail thread, which I should have trimmed earlier, but didn't. Last part is just making one quick little half hitch knot. And then just go through the bead. Okay, so there it is, complete. Grab my little thread zapper and trim the thread. There's our little set. Got the bracelet and the earrings and of course you can turn this into a necklace so you can make uh, you know several units I would do I think three units would be cute if you did three in a row and then just made uh, some type of rope or you could do six like here or do an odd number so that you get one that's kind of in the center like so and then you can have a necklace of course you could do way more units than that but the bracelet can be turned into a necklace just made longer Okay, well, I hope you like this and I will see you in the next one.